Welcome back to another Spirit Island video. In this video, we are going to be playing some more stone. This time into France 6, if I can get to it. There we go. Looks like we have board A here. Let's go. Board A, France 6. And it looks like our jungle is our starting explorer, and I'm going to France 6 into my A2. Okay, so... So, so stone strategies. Once again, we're going to do that G3 all along top track. Um, the jungle explorer starting is quite nice because we can easily defend my A3. And I don't need to move to Han with jagged shards. Because I start in the mountain and sands, I want to grow into wetland. And then ideally, I want to grow into this jungle. So I'll probably grow into A5 and then to A8. Let's get that miner first. And then we'll create a plan. There's called a trade weep. Absorb and Blood Draws. Um, unfortunately, these are pretty medium cards um, into this matchup. Call to Trade, Skipping Ravages isn't really what we want to be doing. Um, well, <laughs> Skipping Ravages isn't bad. It's the fact that it skips the Ravage and turns it into a, um, a build is what makes it bad. Absorb Corruption, it's, it's on Element, but Blight isn't going to be a problem. Weep. I just wish it did more. I, I think I'm probably going to go with Blood Draws just because it has the most um, flexibility out of these cards. Uh, but yeah, Call to Trade is normally the card I would go to pick. We'll do Blood Draws though and we'll grow into my A5. And normally I do Jagged Shards, but because of um, the Explorer was favorable, I'm going to go with Plows. I'm going to use this to kill the town on my A1. And I want to try to prevent that Triangle Trade. Um, it, if this land comes up, this uh, coming up. So I, I'm hoping for mountains here, jungle build, and look at that mountains, just as we rode it up. I need a France six here. I'm going to France six over into my A4, I think. Let's do uh, A7. Oh, nope, not that one. Destroy that town, cool. So now I'll be able to uh, punch back and kill my A1 there. I'll defend my A3 this turn. We'll probably take the Blight on A6. It depends. Um, let's first get that Major here. So turn one, we G3. Turn two, we're going to G3. We're going to get that Major. And we're looking for a card that's very impactful. Here's where I would redraw Grand Hatred, as this makes me sad. Um, actually, all of these cards make me pretty sad here. Um, luckily, though, Blood Rack Plague is a card that does work. And because we drafted that amazing animal with Blood Draws, um, I can almost threshold it. Um, this is the card I'm going to pick because I want that, um, I mean, it's the only Earth card. The disease is kind of okay into France, but yeah, the rest are just pretty medium. If this was the Exploratory Vengeance, I snap pick this, but it's not. And we are going to forget um, Plows, we no longer need that card. And we're going to put our presence over here in A8, and we're going to get that draft. And look at that, we got our fourth animal that we need. So now we can threshold that Blood Rack if we can get to... Um, uh, I guess that uh, was a six plays, or a, uh, turn six, so four plays. What about the rest of these cards? Part of me says I could take favor, and I can use that to defend my A6. I also like Dire Metamorphosis here. I think I'm supposed to play Dire plus my Stubborn. I can use Dire to pick off um, something that pops up here on A5. Let's do Dire Metamorphosis. I think that's the funnest card here. We'll do these two cards. Um, I guess then I take a Blight off Dire Meta. I think it's probably okay here. I could damage. It probably solves this land or gets close to it. I take a Blight off it though. I just gotta make sure I don't die to um, a France loss condition. That's the biggest thing here. I punch back here. Defend this. I think this is probably fine. I think it's okay if I go um, lighted here. What is this? So we got no bravery. Okay. We have beast damage. Nice. That solves that land. And we have leave the hostile lands. That is also pretty nice. This is where I'm really sad because um, if I played jagged shards instead of dire, I would have been able to push this to Han because leave is going to push this to Han over here to A1 or I'm um, into A2. And then I wish I could move it and pair it up on my um, on my A uh, A6 there. Ravage will pay the energy and explore in its wetlands. We went to France 6, and we'll France 6 nicely to A1. 
Okay, so this is where I was saying I would take a Blight with that, that Dire Metamorphosis. I can do it here on my A5. I could also do it on my A6. Uh, I think I'd probably do it in my A5 here. Because it completely solves that land nicely for me. And then um, I can just grow into my A6. I grow, defend. Yeah, it's pretty good. Stone is good. So I'm going to be stubborning to defend this, plus my innate. We'll just completely destroy that land, and then I have Jagged Shards to push this to Han wherever I need it to go. Um, yeah, I think uh, this looks pretty good for me. I guess the sad part is here. I might need to um, Blood Rack plus Defend to solve my A2, but things are looking pretty good for us. Left Innate. Use my right Innate over here. Increasing... Oh, no, we are Map Makers, and Map Makers is... Kind of sad for us. Well, oh no, we have a Wilds. Just kidding. Because we uh, big-brained and played Dire Metamorphosis. So, And the beast damage is great. Dead there, dead there. We get to add it to Han. Here's a really cool interaction. And hopefully the uh, mod doesn't mess this up. When I add a Dahan over here to A1, it won't increase the defend. But the Dahan will be stubborn, so it will fully clear this land. So, really cool thing. We'll pay the energy... And I'm pretty sure that was done incorrectly, because I'm only supposed to be doing three damage there. But um, it's only I'm only doing two damage, and for some reason it triggered as if I did four. But the whole land would have cleared anyway. Um, okay, so France six. I'm going to France six over here into um, this land, hoping for that beast damage. And coastal is um, actually pretty devastating for us. Luckily, we picked up Bloodrack Plague, but yeah, this is um, actually pretty terrifying, and this is like one of the edge cases that occurs. We'll do... Throw my Dahan there, and I can defend that. Let's reclam. We're going to create that Sacred Site over here on A4. Get that Miner, and we're looking for a nice pickup. Um, we did not get anything, though we did get Quicken, which can help Threshold Bloodrack down the road. Don't think I want that, though. also got Devouring Ants. Probably just Ants, because I can play that and can clear out my A3. So, like, maybe Devouring Ants helps me clear this out. We play Blood Rack. We play Stubborn. And that should get close to defending this. So, I believe I Blood Rack here. Defending those two. And I have my Defend. I have Defend 4 for this land. It's still not enough. And then I'll have Devouring Ants here. They'll build 1, 2, 3, 4. I do have a Rebellion this turn. I think I'm okay. Baiting if there's anything else that I can do here. Let me double check at my drafts here. Because I might have... Don't want to do anything else now. I think that's... Yeah, no, I did everything right here. Okay. We got Rebellion. We're going to be triggering that Rebellion over here, killing that town. Ooh, Remnants. That is... Um... I mean, it's not terrible. I definitely... Do I want to pay for... If I, if I pay for it, I guess I'm taking the Blight either way. And the Dahan are stubborn. So I guess we pay for it. Hunting parties. Solve. Oh, Dahan reclaim. Well, now I'm really sad that I didn't... Uh, I picked... Oh, no, I paid for it, so I can use this. Um, if I do it here, it clears the land. If I do it here, I get very close. Do I have another fear card? I don't. I probably do it here. I think I go with the city kill. And builds. Oh, 
I, that was like the one edge case. I was like, if it's the back to back here, I uh, end up taking the instant blight, which is sad because um, I don't have a sacred site here. Well, that will make us go blighted. And this is uh, sometimes this happens into this matchup. Um, and I can we could go here. Adds a second blight, looks like. I got to France six. We'll go into the beast land. Okay. We went blighted. It's sad, uh, but we'll be okay. We'll get through it. We can clear that with Devouring Ants. We have that nice um, defend four next turn that can kind of defend everything. Wow, things were going so well for us, but this is usually what happens with France. You end up going blighted. Um, well, it, it can happen. It's why I rate this as um, it's a good matchup. It's just not a great matchup. We put our presence there. Um, I was going to use Blood Rack. No, we don't use Blood Rack yet. We'll let the build occur here. Because yeah, if we use this, it defends all of those lands nicely for us. Defend, defend, defend. I think we do... I think we just do something like this. Just go all in. Clear up my coast. Yeah, we just do that. That will clear everything. What is this? So we are invested. We're not blighting, so that's going to add a town. Okay. Beast damage again. And coming of age. We could add another to Han. Uh, I guess we go there. Strife in a land with presence. Uh, I don't think I want to do that. I guess we'll go on the Explorer. Need to triangle trade. Add that town there in case I get um, disease damage. Explore, escalate. Brand six again. Okay. I think we're almost there. What's our town limit? One, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh, we're just at the limit here. Though I think we are good. Because we have devouring ants here. That clears both of that. And we have my scarred and stony land here. I believe we do that. And then now we... The, the plan... What we've been waiting for this game is the ability to um, threshold that dire metamorphosis. I'm just going to grab a random card here. Uh, actually, we'll grab rights as a build skip. Thrust the cards really doesn't matter. And as I mentioned, we want to be able to threshold. There we go. Now that's a thresholded blood rack. And I believe we have our innate here. That right tier. And we use blood rack. This is going to be three damage. I do one, two, th three. One, two. Oh, that was incorrect. This should be three damage. So yeah, that's a little bit incorrect here. Oops. So it's it's three damage I get to do. Ah, I see. That's how I'd have to allocate it. Okay, so at least it, it still worked the way I wanted to. We'll do blood draws over here with our innate that will clear up my uh, a eight. Oh, life's tilt. Oh no. This is a card that usually you want to go. Um, Usually want to not pay for it. Though if I don't pay for it, I take another Blight. Am I okay with that? Yeah, that's fine. Remove a Beast. Add a Disease. Actually. Oh no. Well, that happened too quick. Pain Energy. Solved. Okay. Ooh, a Ravage Skip. Do I want to save a Blight here? Sure. 
also France 6. I could die on Metamorphosis if I really wanted to. Um, I guess I'll just do it here. Do I want to die on Metamorphosis? Oh, I'm so close to being able to killing to killing uh, both here. Nah, we're not going to. I don't want to take another blight. I'm too afraid. Terrified of the blight. We do have our slave rebellion on that wetlands build. We're just going to reclaim loop. This is one of my favorite things to do with stone. Is you can play. Oh, I can't reclaim loop. It. I don't have the energy. Oh gosh. Devastation. All right, I guess I'll do this then. Just playing my effects here. Uh, I will skip that. On each board. Add a blight to a coastal land or destroy two presents. Sure. We'll add a blight and we'll pay for it. Push a beast to a land where it has no shame. Remove. Solved. Okay, well, France 6. I'm just kind of going through the motions here. Jagged. I guess I didn't have to do that. I could do it slightly more optimal as this. And I actually don't even have to do anything here. I guess I'll still reclaim, though. Because we have the Slave Rebellion. That will get the last town for us. Slave Rebellion. Goodbye. GG. So, a very uh, fun game with stone. Ah, it sucks we went blighted, but, you know, the back-to-back, -back, sometimes it gets you. We also, this is a, a tough game. Um, I know it might have looked a little easy, but um, the the early coast, like that's really tough for a lot of spirits to handle into a map makers. Um, just, yeah, I mean, that's that's game losing for a lot of spirits, but luckily we had the Dower Metamorphosis, the extra wilds, prevented the triple explorer on the coast. We were able to uh, salvage that, which was um, very favorable for us.